Hi, this is Scoggett, and today what I'm going to be preparing, I'm outside and uh, it rained a little bit uh, earlier uh, in the day, but all the rain is gone, and uh, I decided I'd go ahead and uh, uh, went down to the market, and they had some uh, Atlantic salmon on sale, and I got it at a real good price. Uh, it was like um, $10 a, a pound. Uh, it was on sale for like $5.97. So I got me uh, about almost two pounds of it and I really like salmon and when it comes to salmon uh, there's different species of salmon and, and a thousand different ways to cook it I mean there's a, a hot smoke there's a cold smoke uh, you can grill it uh, you can bake it uh, broil it you name it it's, it's all going to come out good it's uh, how, how you like to do it what I'm doing today is showing you how I do it, and I really like uh, how it comes out, and, and uh, Mrs. Coggett likes it too, so that's the way I always uh, do it. But when it comes to salmon, there's different species. Like I say, mine's an Atlantic salmon. There's like a Pacific salmon, uh, chum salmon, sockeyed salmon. Uh, there's a king salmon, and, and I saw some of that king salmon today at the market, and it was like twenty nine ninety five dollars uh, pound, so I kind of pa passed on that. But that's getting into the real, uh, real, real good flavored stuff. This, this stuff here, don't get me wrong, it does have a good flavor, but it's uh, least expensive. And I'll go ahead and show you how I prepare this uh, to put on the smoker. I'm going to have this in two uh, parts. First part is going to sh show you how I prepare it for the smoker and I'll put it on the smoker and the second part will be the finished product and I'll show you how it how I played it up and uh, how it turned out and I hope you enjoy this video and I usually smoke my salmons uh, for around anywhere from 250 to uh, 300 degrees I haven't had any problem with that and I usually smoke it anywhere from uh, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, and within an hour's time, it's it's done. So I'll get started. I'll show uh, show you uh, how to prepare this and how I how I do it and the seasonings I put on it to put it on the uh, smoker, and it's very 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 simple. Over here we have a. Uh, Salmon, if you're not familiar with salmon flays, this is the way they all come. And they have a, a meaty side here, and you have a scaly side right here. You want to put the scaly side down. And what I do is I just take some lemons, and I just squeeze lemon juice all over the salmon. Well, if I can hang on to it, I'll be all right. And just salmon... Uh, just squeeze it on there real good. Then I take uh, some lemon pepper uh, salt or lemon pe lemon pepper uh, seasoning, and I just season it up real good. Just go real real good on it, real heavy. Just like that. Then what I've got is I've got my smoker already here, uh, over here. Got it already going and everything. And got a the piece of hickory wood in it. And the temperature right now is right at 250. So that's where I want it. Got a lot of smoke coming from the uh, uh, wood. And I'm using my smoker grill today. I didn't fire up my Oklahoma Joe. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. It'll work out just fine.
just going to move my uh, salmon flay right over here to the smoker and I got some additional lemon what I'm just going to lay on top just like this and uh, this is the way I'm going to cook it I'm just going to let it let it cook just like this on, on that foil then when I get ready to uh, when it's done and everything I can just pick it up from the foil transport it to the pan and we'll be all set but that's that's the way it looks and everything and what I did is is on this I put the hot side over here in other words I banked the coals to the side and added my hickory wood and over here is the cold side but what it's going to do it's going to hickory smoke the uh, salmon so it's working as a smoker grill in other words I converted this into a smoker so if, I, I did it on this so if you don't have a smoker with a firebox you can do it on any grill any grill will work Go ahead and shut the lid here and get it going. Uh, if you don't have a smoker, you don't have to have a smoker to be able to convert to a, a, a smoker grill. As long as you have a grill, you can cook cook on it and smoke. Just bank the, the uh, coals to one side and the wood and put on the other side, you put your uh, uh, food what you want to cook and it won't burn it and it come out perfect. You might have to watch the temperature a little bit, but uh, it'll come out all right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have the second video coming up, and that will show you the finished product. And I'll uh, plate it up and show you how it turned out. And this uh, salmon is going to turn like a real, real nice color to it when it's uh, uh, cooked. And it's going to look, look delicious. It's going to taste delicious. I hope you enjoyed the video. hope it was informative. I think I have maybe uh, some salmon filet videos, what I made, just the little, little uh, cut up ones. But I never did one, I don't think, on a salmon filet itself. And uh, that's why I wanted to show you how I do it. And I just, like I say, I smoke it between 250, 300 degrees and let it go uh, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. It's all really depending on how uh, big the uh, uh, salmon filet is. Some people say you need to uh, smoke it at like a lower temp like 200 to 225 right around there to get the full flavor I tried it both ways and uh, tell you the truth I can't tell the difference uh, I really can't uh, the way I do it is, is works for me so that's that's the way I, I always make it I appreciate you watching the video hope you leave a comment whether you like the video whether you don't and uh, y'all take care